Among the police reforms, measures that have just passed in Springfield, no cash bail. It allows defendants to go free at a judge's discretion without bail while they await trial. But does this policy work? CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot spoke to an expert to find out. Well, Marie, he told me no cash bail has not resulted in greater risk to community safety in New Jersey or any other state where it's being used. In all bail studies. Dr. Arthur Loriggio is a professor of criminal justice and criminology at Loyola University, Chicago. Loriggio says no cash bail in New Jersey has reduced crime and repeat offenses. Overall, bail reform in New Jersey has been successful. Loriggio says research has looked at two things in New Jersey when it comes to no cash bail, whether people are arrested while awaiting their court date and whether they show up. What they've learned, people are going to court and the arrest rate has gone down. Why is it that arrests have not gone up? It can be for one of two reasons. One is that detainees who are arrested, no longer confined in jail, are really not committing new crimes. Or it could be that police officers are less inclined to make an arrest. Do you think that's a bad thing, depending upon the crime? I think that for minor criminal activity, not making an arrest may be in the best interest of the person of interest, as well as the best interest of the system and of the community. State Senator L.G. Sims introduced the police reform legislation that awaits the governor's signature to become law. Sims says if approved, no cash bail would not go into effect in Illinois until 2023 to give the courts a thorough understanding of the policy. Train judges on what the new policies mean, train judges on the new risk assessment. They're going to have, they're going to have those two years to do that. Meantime, Loriggio says that studies have also shown no cash bail has led to a lower jail population and also lower costs to local budgets. But he says there are still no studies that have been done to know for sure if no cash bail has affected arrest decisions by officers. Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, thank you.